And it doesn't surprise me when I hear that a lot of organizations like yourself have been actually able to expand themselves. And that goes to speak about the passion and the commitment you have to the cause. And so do you feel that your even your volunteers, and I know doing something as substantial as what you do cannot be done by just one person. It involves a team. It involves a bunch of volunteers coming together. Do you feel that through your work, you were able to gather more volunteers and that you you feel like people had more time to give out and give back to the community? Absolutely right. Uh, we were approached by a number of other organizations that saw that we were still continuing delivering our programs, as well as people from the uh, community who wanted to jump in and assist us. But also, too, we also received a lot more donations during COVID as well for people who were shut in that wanted to stay safe, but also wanted to assist as much as they could, then they donated in a financial way. So we saw a lot of those kinds of bumps that we were very uh, willing to take, and uh, it really helped us in delivering, in delivering our programs. I, I love that. And I think it lifts up this idea that there was a lot, or many of us felt in the pandemic that there was so much we couldn't do. But I feel like what we're talking about animates that many of us said, well, what can we do? And so I feel like, you know, some of these success stories that we're hearing now around that idea of looking for the helpers and those who had the means and the privilege to be able to pitch in is so meaningful and, and just really a testament to the resilience um, that is inherent in our community. So 